I'll just say the beginning of the year uh, 2023. Let's say the beginning of the year and the increase is going to be one uh, increase quantity by one cost price. I'm going to keep the cost there. That brings the quantity up to 10 and then the adjustment account, the other account I'm going to put it to, I'm going to put it to, I'm going to try to put it to another uh, inventory account, like a sub inventory account uh, so that we tie out to our practice problem here. So let's see if we can, if they allow me to add another one. I'm going to add another account as we go. So I'm going to go to the tab to the right again. Sorry about this. I'm going to duplicate a tab and I'm going to go into our chart of accounts up top accounting and we'll go into our chart of accounts because I have a negative inventory item in my practice problem that I would like to tie out to. So I'm going to try to make another inventory account to call it 1401 to have this amount go to the inventory. So it'll be a negative amount in it. So I'm going to say add 1401 add account and the code is going to be 1401 1401 and the type of account is going to be could i call it inventory or i'd rather say just current asset because i'm not tracking the inventory in this account name i'm going to call it inventory adj account description tax exempt okay let's save it and then i'm going to go back to this tab and see if it lets me populate it this is going to be inventory inventory no let me i'm going to go out of it and then back in so i'm going to x out and then go into the new adjustment it's going to be an increase and we're going to say this happens on let's just say january january 1st and quantity increase one the other side going to inventory okay i had to refresh the screen but there it is it's going to be adjusted to inventory so it's going to be basically increasing our inventory item uh, adjusting to the sub ledger and then i'm putting the other side to inventory because in my worksheet, I have a, actually a negative inventory amount there. So <laughs> hopefully that'll work out. Let's save it and check it out. The reference, I'm gonna be ADJ inventory and okay. So post adjustment. So let's see what that does. If I go to the balance sheet then and adjust it. Now we've got the uh, inventory, which is tying out to the sub ledger and this inventory adjustment, which has that negative amount in it so that I have 10 inventory items that I can record with this one now. So I'm gonna go back to the first tab. This is all because I messed up uh, the practice problem, of course. Uh, so then I'm gonna update this and say, all right, let's refresh the screen on this one, or let's see if I could just approve it now and see if it can indicate that I have 10. There it goes. So now I have the inventory there. All right, so it posted it. So now let's go on to the balance sheet. I'm gonna delete this screen and update it. And so now it was able to record the inventory. So there's the uh, inventory item. And then if I tab to the right, well, let's check it out. Let's do the whole thing. So we've got the accounts receivable went up. So if I go into the accounts receivable, and we scroll on down we're gonna say all right this one was music stuff store uh for the full amount here and then if i go back we're gonna go back and then the other side went to the income statement updating the income statement into the sales tab so if i go into the sales tab and scroll down and we're going to say, okay, there's the invoice on this side, but it's only for the sales price, not including the sales tax back to the balance sheet. The sales tax is going to be recorded in this account and then inventory. The one I wanted to get into <laughs> inventory is impacted for this account. And then I have that negative inventory item because in my practice problem, I actually recorded a negative inventory, right? So I'm going to go into the inventory and then check it out and so if we scroll down 
the inventory is going down by uh, the cost, music stuff store, not the sales price scrolling back up. The other side's going into cost of goods sold on the income statement and the cost of goods sold going into it. And scrolling down, we've got the music stuff store, uh, this one for the cost, the net impact on the income statement is uh, the re the sales minus the cost of goods sold. And then on the balance sheet, we also note that the sub ledger for accounts receivable should tie out to this now. So where did I put that? Aged accounts receivable, updating that. We've got uh, Anderson and Music Stuff Store is now added. So if we break it out by who owes us money, these are the four people that owe us the 46,830, which ties out to what's on the balance sheet. That looks good. And then the sub ledger for inventory is gonna tie out to this number, hopefully. So if I go onto the inventory, update that report. Now we have sold all those out. And notice in my practice problem, the problem was I, I, these are the ones we sold, right? I think I, I went negative. I actually had a negative number on my practice problem and zero correctly is telling me I can't do that. I can't have a negative number. And that's why we had to make the adjustment. So this 10 96 ties out to uh, the 10 96 here. And then in my practice problem, I had a negative, the inventory went negative, which is like impossible to do. And that's why we have that adjustment right there so there is uh so there is that one so that is it so let's go ahead and run a trial balance and see where we stand so we're going to go back up top and i'll go to the tab to the right and then open up a trial balance this was quite a trial of a of a practice exercise here with the inventory adjustments and stuff so let's go to the trial balance and uh let's run that one Let's change the range, customizing it, 2023, end of it, update it. There we have it. So if your numbers tie out to these numbers, great. If not, the, the things we changed, a lot of things changed here, right? We changed the accounts receivable. We changed the inventory. We had this inventory adjustment account, which is kind of funny, right? And then we had the sales tax because we dealt with invoices and we had the sales line items and the cost of goods sold line items change. So if you had, if you tied out last time and something is off this time, it was probably one of those items. You can then double check it by seeing if it's a date issue, increasing the date range. If something changes, drill down on the change, see where that date range is off, and then change the range on the transaction.